Hello friends, I welcome all of you once again in my program, Legal Knowledge Your Pride. Today, in this program, I will discuss section 50 of the NDPS Act. In this case, friends, today we will discuss what are the requirements that have to be taken by the police when the police has to make a search, when the police have to make a search of a person who is suspected of carrying some narcotics drugs. So as per section 50 of the NDPS Act, when there is a suspect, when there is a person who is suspect of carrying the narcotic drugs with him, when the police have to make a search of that person, here I am talking of the personal body. When the police have to make a search of the body of the person who is suspected of carrying the narcotic drugs, the search has to be made before the nearest magistrate or the gadgeted officer. And it is the duty of the police to tell the person, it is the duty of the person, it is the duty of the police to tell the accused, to tell the suspect that, look, this is your right that if you want your search can be made before the nearest magistrate or before the nearest gadgeted officer. This is the duty of the police to inform him of it, this right. Despite this, despite the police has told him of his right, the accused says, the suspect says, no, I do not want my search to be made. I do not want my search to be effected before the magistrate or the gazetted officer. I have full faith on you. You can carry out my search. In that case, the police can go ahead to make a search of the person. This is the law. This is what section 50 of the NDPS Act says. But nowadays, what has happened? As per the judgment, which was passed by the Honorable Supreme Court titled Arif Khan vs. State of Uttarakhand. 2018 Supreme Court cases. As per this judgment, the Supreme Court has given a judgment. The Supreme Court has given a verdict. The Supreme Court says that even if the suspect says, no, I do not want my search to be effected before the police or before the, before, sorry, if the suspected person says that I do not want my search to be conducted before the magistrate or before the nearest gadgeted officer, even in that case, despite accused making refusal, despite the suspect, despite the suspect making refusal, in that case also, it is the duty of the police to take him before the magistrate or before the gazetted officer and it is the duty of the police to carry out to carry out his personal search before the magistrate or before the or before the gadgeted officer if the police does not comply this procedure the search shall not be legal and the procedure shall be vitiated and the accused person shall be entitled to be released only on this ground that his search was not conducted before the magistrate or the gazetted officer. So this is the law which has been enunciated by the Honorable Supreme Court in the Arif Khan versus State of Uttarakhand. Now there is one another situation. When we talk about section 50 of the NDPS, Section 50 of the NDPS always talks of the personal search. It doesn't talk of the articles. It doesn't talk of the bag. It doesn't talk of the motorbike. It doesn't talk of the suitcase. It doesn't talk of the car. It means when a person is walking along with a bag, when a person is walking holding a suitcase in his hand, when a person is riding a bike or when a person is driving a car. In these circumstances, if the bag of the man is searched, if the bike of the man is searched, if the car of the man is searched, in these cases, 
this compliance of section 50 NDPS Act is not necessary because the body of the person is not being searched. What is being searched is the car, what is being searched is his bag. Suppose a person is carrying a bag and in the bag there is heroin, 1.5 kilograms. The police comes and makes a search of the bag. From the bag, the police recovers 1.5 kilogram of the heroin. Then there is no necessity there is no necessity of accused being taken before the magistrate or the gazetted officer. The search is legal and he shall be sent to jail for the 10 years at least and up to 20 years maximum. This is the law. The section 50, the compliance of the section 50 is not necessary in that event. But what the Supreme Court has said in some cases nowadays, in Dilip versus State of Madhya Pradesh 2007 or in State of Rajasthan versus Parmanand 2014, in these cases the Supreme Court has said that when the belongings are searched along with the search of the body, then the compliance of Section 50 is very much necessary. It means a person is going, holding the bag in his hand. The search of the bag is made along with the search of the body of the person is also made. The body of the person is searched, the bag is searched, from the bag heroin is recovered of worth 1.5 crores. But nothing incriminating is found from the body of the person. In that case, the plea was taken before the Supreme Court that though the body of the person was searched but from the body nothing was found nothing incriminating was found from the body what was found was from the bag but the supreme court said no this is the wrong procedure it doesn't matter whether something was found from the body or not the body was searched along with the bag the bag was also searched body was also searched the com compliance of section 50 was very much necessary and because you did not come you did not comply with the section 50 you did not comply with the procedures that has been laid down by the section 50 of the ndps act the entire search is vitiated and consequently the person was acquitted by the honorable supreme court so this is the new law nowadays that when the belongings of a person is searched along with his body then the compliance of section 50 is necessary and even if the suspect refuses to get his search conducted before the magistrate or the nearest gadgeted officer in that case too it is the duty of the police to carry out his search before the magistrate or the nearest gadgeted officer this is the law which has been enunciated by the Honorable Supreme Court. So, it was about Section 50 of the NDPS Act. I'll come before you very soon with some other new topic. Till then, have a good day, have a good life. All right.